As part of measures to address cases of corrupt practices involving government officials, Christians and governments have been admonished to be guided by good moral conduct while discharging their official responsibilities. The General Overseer of Palace of Priest Assembly, Pastor TV Ibuzo, gave the advice at an event in Abuja titled The Platform on Transparency and Accountability for Christians in Government. Ibuzo noted that the platform is meant to bring together Christian leaders in government to focus on accountable leadership as demonstrated by Jesus Christ during his earthly life. We witnessed the emergence of new cultures by individual Pentecostal leaders in various sectors to show, speak, and stand up against corruption. It has been a harvest of first. We harvested 115 scriptures that capture the meaning of corruption and the penalty for Christians to adhere to the standards of honesty, integrity, and transparency. We trained a total of 2,892 Pentecostals. 1,186 additional Pentecostals have endorsed the Pact on Transparency and Accountability. The event was attended by stakeholders in the fight against corruption, including a senior special assistant to President Bola Tenubu on community engagement, not central, Abiondo Essiet, who also agreed that Christians in government must lead by example. Nigeria as a country and also Africa is battling with a whole lot of corruption. But when we remind ourselves who we are, then we are able to stand together. And, you know, with this type of, you know, a program, it's a coalition that is helping to support one another for us to build that support supports for each other for us to understand the challenges people are facing and also to encourage Christian brothers and sisters who are top uh, managers of in public services to know why they are there. And this program bringing about awareness, sensitization and enlightenment particularly for us as Christians who is supposed to be the light, uh, the light and the salt of the world is uh, very commendable. Stakeholders at the event emphasize the need for government to sanction corrupt officials and for religious leaders to shun, speak up and stand up against corruption. CNN News.